What's up, boxing fans? This is a big, big, big update. Nomito, the Filipino Flash Donair just knocked out the best at Bantamweight. And if not, the second or third, or even in some people, I was the first best Mexican boxer of 2011 right now besides Juan Manuel Marquez. He knocked out Fernando Montilla. Nomito Donair is a beast. His conditioning is like I said, it's everything in box conditioning. It's everything. Victor Conte got him in great shape, uh, giving him more red blood cells. His track and field coach working on agility instead of running the traditional six mile run. Um, Robert Garcia gets all the credit in the world as one of the best trainers, best game plan guys, and he deserves it. And Donel Donner, you know, people will hate on you so much from your family to to so many people doubted you, saying you couldn't do this, you couldn't be this. Ever since you knocked out Victor Archinian, and I've been riding with you ever since then, a lot of people didn't even know who you were, thought you were a nobody, you were a piss on or nothing. I'm here to say that I knew you could do it. I knew you had all the talent. You know what I'm saying? All you had to do is put your mind through, have the right camp, and everything will go right. I am so proud of you. Mucho, mucho, mucho gracias for the performance in that second round knockout. I mean, you were you know, winning the first round comfortably, second round you were losing, and then you just hit him with that sweet counter, the sweet counter left hook just. He threw his straight right hand, you just turned that left hook over so perfectly on his face, right to his temple area, and lights out Montiel. Montiel's one of my favorite Mexican, by three time Mexican champion in three different divisions. That is so impressive. And you really proved to everybody that you can face a real top, top, top Mexican not only Mexican, but A plus fighter. He's an A plus fighter. Like, like he is the shit in Mexico. In yeah, Sinaloa. So, like I said, great night of boxing for Karash. You know, you did your thing. You throw a whole lot of punches. Um, you know, you, you gave it your all. You know, you, ain't nobody. You ain't lost no fans here. I'm still a fan of Jesus Soto Karash. Anybody else, you'll probably knock him out. Mike Jones did a great job. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. Be very, very confident, lay back, throw that jab, and circle the ring. Use great ring generalship, and he did as well. Doing great uppercuts. Anyway, great night of boxing. I am just so excited. If you guys can, I correct, correct, correct. Oh, yeah, I cannot believe that this happened tonight. Like, this is amazing. But, um, anyways, you know, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. It was a wonderful fight. Excelente. Um, I have not too much else to say about this except no needle, move up to 126, and challenge the best. I mean, why why go through little ones when you can challenge the best? You can make the weight comfortably. Uh, you walk around about 135 anyway. Just just go ahead and do it, man. I mean, you, you, you know you will knock out any other 122-pounder. But I do want to see you face Abner Marta as I think it would be a great, great fight again. You face another proud Mexican warrior. Man, I just think it'd be a great fight. Or face Jose Becker, who has great counter punching skill and is very good from Ghana. So, like I said, great night of boxing once again. Uh, like I said, you gotta let me know what you think. Did you think that Anil Donera just seemed overrated, which was not the case because he has so much speed, so much agility. Uh, combinations was just perfect. His defense is nasty. He said he idols Bruce Lee. Well, Bruce Lee's my idol, and you're my idol too, Nonito. And you showed that defense comes first, offense later. Anyways, I'm out, and this is Ant reporting about this boxing fight between Nonito Donair, February 19th, between Fernando Montiel, second round KO, left hook. All right. Good night.